Hi everyone, welcome. I have a flip through to do today. This is called The Wild Side. This is an adult grayscale coloring book and you get 48 images of animals near and far. <coughs> so this is Color My Light designer Wanda Fontno. She put this book together. She also colored this cover image. And if I remember right, she used Prisma colors. So she rocked it. That is fantastic, totally jealous. Um, here's a side view. Take a peek at the back here. So they are thick books, which I like. So here are some colored ones. This is one I did. So this monkey image is in the book. Mine is not colored in this book, but it is colored. Okay, sorry. I did sneeze. So here's our book belongs to the cute little lion. Again, this is just Amazon paper. It is not perforated. Um, here's her dedication page. She has a Facebook group. Um, I will put the link down below if you are interested in joining. Um, even if you're not into Grayscale yet, you can always join, kind of check it out. Um, the guys and girls in that group do amazing work with amazing things. Um, and it's really neat to see. Um, so that's kind of, and then you can judge if it's for you from there. Um, about this book, seventh book of Grayscale Images. So this is her most recent book she has. Um, here she is again with a little bit about her. And then we get started. This one is very pretty. So again, she is very good at lightening them, clear, crisp images. This one actually looks pretty good even from Amazon's printing. I don't have a whole lot of white lines down them just yet. This is super cute. Um, this is definitely one for fur and scales and feathers, I suppose. I'm not sure if there's birds in here. Um, so if you're learning fur, like this one is a great one to start with because it shows you, you know, each little fur strand, where your darks are, where your lights are, where the highlights are, his nose. Um, his little black foot, which is cute. Big horn sheep. We have these here where I live. And they are super cool to see from a distance. They will uh, knock you on your butt if you get too close. I like that this kangaroo is with a tree. I don't know why, but I feel like every time I see a kangaroo, they're, you know, in the desert and whatnot. So this is neat to me, that it's not just a big plane. Here's a cute little hound dog. With those sad eyes. Cows. I also thought this page was neat, especially being from Wyoming. Um, not a lot of people are impressed by cows anymore because you see them every day by the hundreds. Um, sometimes they even get out and they're all over the road or in your yard. Um, but I do like cows. That was nice to see. There is a wide variety of animals in here for sure. This one. And I thought this was a neat page just because of the oval view. Like you could be looking through it like a binocular or you know it could be a framed picture, anything you wanna. But that was neat. Here we have a rhino eating some grass. And this is too cute. Puppy and a kitten. Looks like he's a tabby. Okay, here is the cover image if you want to try to do your own or follow along with what Wanda has done. 
very pretty. Love how big the eyes are. Okay, here's the cute little monkey guy. Kitty out of fit. Try to turn slowly so I don't make anybody too sick. Kitty out of fit. A moose. This is on my bucket list to see in real life. Now, I have been to Yellowstone multiple times because it is like an hour away from me. Um, depending on traffic, I should say, to get in. But an hour away. Um, and there are moose all over Wyoming, but I have yet to actually see one. So, it is on my bucket list. Those are neat looking. I like their fur. Almost wet like they went swimming. Now they're laying on a rock and it's wet. I don't know if cats swim, but cute little fluffy guy. Okay, here's the monkey I did. Very cute. This one is interesting. I would like to tackle it, but I haven't decided quite how I want to do it yet. Almost screams watercolor to me, but we will see. <laughs> okay, nice tiger. Deer. Now these we have lots of also, but they are still cute, especially when they're the babies with the spots, because then you know they're they're fairly new babies. There's an elephant. Always look at the detail. Like you can see every little wrinkle and um, groove in his skin. So here we have an iguana, I believe he is. Now, if you are interested, Wanda is running a contest with this page in her group. So if you join her Facebook group, you can grab this image, print it out, color it. I have seen some very neat entries already. I haven't tried tackling it, but I've seen some good ones. But you can see all the detail. I like this one as well. A mouse. Mousey mouse. So I feel like we just woke up. We're getting our day started here. It's our Friday. We got the kids out the door. I really like this one. Um, zebras are my favorite animal. And I know they're not totally popular in the coloring world because black and white is not fun to seem to color. Um, but I am tempted to try this one just because the detail, like the fur strikes you could put in nice yellow green background. So I might try this one. Here is a koala sleeping. Okay. Mama and two babies. Or dad. Either way. This one is adorable. He is just too cute, and the detail you could get on this one as well. And all the hard work is put in for you, so you just have to follow what's there. Here is a beautiful scenery page. So you could have a nice blue sky and some a little bit of a blue lake. And some, you could even do fall color trees if you wanted. Very pretty. Kangaroo. So if you are into grayscale and there's anything, I'm not sure which way that is easiest to see, anything you want to see or tips, suggestions, comments, please leave them down below. Because Wanda does watch 
my videos <laughs> so she will see them and I can always relay messages as well so I do have one little line here on my piggy now this is not this is not the artist this is Amazon printing this is cute too this will be a fun one to do Stayed up late to get work done and left everything everywhere, and now I have this stuff everywhere. Very handsome. This is too cute. I actually know a lady that would love this page. She uh, breeds German Shepherds, so very fun. And this looks like my daughter this morning when she crawled out of bed. That wild hair, bedhead. She's got nice thin blonde hair, so it's wild when she gets up. Here we have an up close of a kitty. Again, the detail. Super fine dip pencil, whatever color you want to make your cat, and just flick away. Beautiful page. A bear. I have only seen a bear one time. And it was in Yellowstone. Very neat. Um, if you can hear tiny meows in the background, I apologize. It is time for him to eat, and I thought I could sneak this in before he woke up. <laughs> I have a tiny kitten I rescued who's bottle fed. He's three weeks old now, but... Yep, I run on his schedule now. He wakes up and lets me know when he's hungry, so... Little tiny meows, just for a minute. Another rhino. I love the little bird sitting on him. That's too cute. Right, and that is our last page. So, the, again, this is The Wild Side, 48 images by Wanda Fontenot or Color by Light. Questions, comments, leave them down below. Wanda, thanks again for sending me the book. Very excited to dive in and get started, and I hope to show you at least one of my completed pages this month. Thanks for watching. See you next time.